Alright, what's up everybody? P.O. here. And today, we are going to open up a uh, draft box of Commander Masters for patron Sean. So, good luck Sean. Let's get into this. I continue to make it clear how I feel about this product. And some people come back and question me about it. Do you still feel that way? About the draft and the set? Yeah, I do. The collector boxes, not so much. They're fine. They're flashy. Um, admittedly, the four packs and then how they set it up. I just don't feel like you leave every box. Even even when you get a hit, it it's, doesn't feel like you got much for the money. <laughs> so, I'm a big fan of the draft boxes. Sean, good luck. Here we go. Pack number one. 24 pack box, of course. So, um, you know, I'm gonna slightly. I just actually disassembled my stuff yesterday and put it back together. So here we go. All right, that's a little better. <clears throat> okay, so we got Opal Palace in foil with the new artwork. Grand Abolisher with the borderless treatment and the RFK or RKF artwork. I don't know why I always say RFK. Hey, Loyal Retainers for our first Mythic. Okay. <laughs> and we've got Talron, this guy summoner in the portrait artwork. Well, at least the pack was okay. Hey, Lightning Greaves, you know what? I am going to track Awesome Uncommons, too. Even though it's a draft box and no fancy ones at the end, but still. It's a Lightning Greaves, for God's sakes. And that's what I love about this product. All right, Gisela, Blade of Gold Knight in foil. That's pretty cool. And then a Blood Spore through an axe. Razaketh for our second Mythic. Yeah, mythic. Akiri. Brian Lynn, Soul Ring. You know what? Soul Ring is going to go on top. Vandal Blast is going to go on top. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna... to... You know what? I'm going to probably overfill the top, aren't I? You know what? No. We're not going to do that. Anyway. But that's what I love about this product. The depth. The depth. The playable depth. Elvish Mystic and Foil. Oran Frostfang. That's pretty cool. Decree of Pain. Demon Lord Belzenok, uh, Lock, sorry, Gorex, and we got a Counterspell in Borderless and Nadir's Nightblade in Borderless. I mean, even down to commons like Read the Bones. It's just a good playable card. Melek, Hammer of Nizan, that's cool. Ashleen, Tashar, okay, Thought Vessel, you know what, Thought Vessel can go on top, in the uncommon section, we got Beanstalk Giant, Undergrowth Stadium, love to see it, uh, I'm not going to have a specific land pile or anything, it's kind of hit or miss with those in this, because it's not a small set. Wretched Confluence, Tesa, <clears throat> Anafenza, Slimefoot, Gourmand. Excuse my voice for a second here. It is that time of the year. I think we just actually had record lows last night. Okay, we got Deep Analysis. Emerald Friggin' Medallion, baby. That's a good start in the rares. Obnix. Zada, Kella, Eternal Witness, Fell War Stone. Eternal Witness is so cheap right now to get. Yes, yes, they took the value out of that card. That that did happen. Okay, next pack. Ram through. Righteous Confluence. Miri. Captain Ripley Vance. Mowu. Okay. All, right. All right. Last pack of the first row. So we still have a whole bunch of mythics ahead of us. We still have a whole bunch of good rares ahead of us. We have a lot of packs left. So body double. Verdant Confluence. And Micaeus, the Unhallowed. Solid mythic. Alharu. Ashnaut's Altar. Oh, Exsanguinate and Borderless. There we go. 
This guy should have claim. <laughs> it just doesn't stop. Now, seriously, buy one of these draft boxes and you've got deck staples for... Especially, especially if you're like some of us. Or maybe we build too many decks. <laughs> and then we don't disassemble ones. It takes a lot to disassemble a deck. <clears throat> Gorex and foil. Ah, sapphire medallion. Even better. Okay. And Sakar or Sakar. I don't know. Gorklaw, which is Tatiova in the that one I like. Extinguish all hope. What's this back here? Elvish Mystic. Cool, cool. So we have three mythics. These do average between six to seven mythics a box. And hopefully. Well, I'm not going to say it out loud. Here we go. Flawless Maneuver. All right. Mine's a glow. Ah, Zusa. Good to see you. Vertiloth. You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mark Zusa up. She's going to go into this pile. Not that it matters. It's arbitrary. I don't know exactly where it's sitting right now at this very moment. I kind of don't care either. That's kind of where I'm at with this product. Bonders Ornament. Hellkite Charger. Yasan. Molimo. Hey, Reliquary Tower. And I think it's awesome looking artwork. And Commander Sphere. That's kind of where I'm at with this product. Obviously, there's been, you know, some people have sold boxes for cheaper. People have opened. People open it, sell off things they don't need, which makes a lot of sense. So right now, I do not care what the card prices are. The combination between, yes, some overprinting realities, and then part two is the current economic climate, and then uh, people getting out of these boxes, which makes sense. All that makes sense. has made some of the cards, you know, cheaper, like Azusa there. So if you needed an Azusa copy... I'm not going to say it's definitely a time, but it seems like it's time. Storm Kiln Artist in foil. Ah, Jet Medallion. Hey, hey. Wow. <laughs> oh, my God. That's a pack. That is a freaking pack, baby. Okay, we got the Cyclonic Rift uh, with the Jet Medallion in the same pack. And then we got Braids. Oh, if that was a hit, that would have been one of the best rare packs I've ever opened. Another Sky Shark Claim. Resculpt is a card I personally love. I just like things that take care of things, right? Exile. It's, that's the way to go. Read the Bones in foil. Oh! <laughs> oh, Sean. Jeweled Friggin' Lotus. Yeah, you know, we start off with lower retainers and Razaket, who, you know, they're not bad. They're, they're okay mythics, but they're definitely kind of in the lower tier of mythics in this product. Micaeus is kind of in that mid-tier. And then we get, like, the best of the best. Oh, goody. Zakama? I'm amazed how much Zakama's price didn't completely die. I, I thought it was going to die. I don't know if that speaks more to the popularity or the power of the card, or a little bit of both. Padim... Dark Seal Mutation. Generous Gift, I feel like I don't really like to... Because of Stroke of Midnight that just came out. Um, I, I, you know, I used to like Generous Gift, and then Stroke of Midnight comes out. It's like, well, that seems almost, almost strictly better. <clears throat> it's not. They're, they're, they're a little different, but it feels like it. Okay, Sean, what do you think so far, huh? Not bad. Not, not too bad. Not too bad. All right, let's continue. Kaho. Ogre Slumlord. Frailies. Sherry. Pet to Exile. Be the Swarm. Okay. And, you know, I just keep saying little staple cards, right? As you go through them, there's just certain cards that... Can be added to so many different decks in your in your filler spots to to do things you need to do. Gutter snipe, wayward sword too. You know I don't know if this card held on at all. I I have, I seriously haven't looked. I am gonna put it over on top over here though. Lorthos the tide maker. 
Disseret. <laughs> I love Assault Suit. There's nothing quite like dropping an Ulamog and then saying, how about everybody gets an Ulamog every turn that can't detect me? That's fun. <clears throat> okay, we got Elite Scale Guard. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, Fierce Guardianship. That. So I was going to say earlier, we haven't even gotten any of the free spells yet. Hopefully we find Fierce Guardianship, and I didn't say it out loud. Then we immediately pulled uh, flawless maneuver. And I was like, "Well, that's solid. I mean, it's not. It's not bad. Okay." And then fierce guardianship. That's what I'm talking about. Storm surge, Kraken, Godo, Yargle, Hamza, Storm Kiln Artist in the Borderless, Faithful Saluting, Kodama's Reach, Ministers of Obligation. It just doesn't stop. Deranged Assistant, Champion's Helm, okay. Maelstrom Wanderer, Baird, Namata, Pendler Path, Sky Shot Claim, which is Cauldron. Okay. So, what do we got left here? We got seven packs. We should have at least two more Mythics to go. We've done very well so far in the higher end rares. Zada. Hey, Obscuring Haze. Okay. Obscuring Haze. At least it's in the awesome Azusa treatment. Galtha. Loshiel, Yeheni. I'm glad they I'm glad they uh downshifted Yeheni. Even though, yes, literally last year they released that as a rare in Double Masters 2022. Turn dust. Reality shift, but at least they, in this product, they didn't make it a rare yet again. Because it became a bulk rare um, in Double Masters 2022. Like, that, that's all it took. Rapacious Dragon. Divergent Transformation. Imp's Mischief. Not bad. Mangara. Okay. I do like the uh, Core 2021 editions. Okay, so. Sean, what do you think so far? Pretty good? You didn't really say if there's any card, specific card you're after. Hunter's Insight. He was just looking, I think he was really just looking for a bunch of playables. Grand Abolisher Times 2. Sabine's Reclamation. And Savala. Hey, that's cool. Always a good mythic. As long as, you know, they don't print it back to back to back to back to back to back. Oh, that is a hit. That is that is actually a really good uncommon hit. Then we got Loyal Prentice. Always good. The Throbin Inspector. And Dread Return. Okay. Savala, I feel like, so when this set came out, Savala dropped to like six or seven bucks, and I'm pretty sure it's back up over ten now. Because it's just such a, not, it's not even necessarily needed as a commander. It's just useful in big decks. Mirror Smith, big creature decks. Avatar of Slaughter. Mizzix. I'm really glad they did not put him as a mythic again. Melek. Malikihai Mekahani Ho. What's this back here? And the command tower that actually has value as a common. Why? Because the artwork's awesome. And people play with that card. And even having value, it's still not like obscene. So people are like, you know what? That's worth a couple bucks for me to upgrade in my deck. Tragic Slip. Commandeer, which has gone up to... I don't know. I don't even know what it's at right now. I know it went up. Seen lots of what? Modern play, I think? Again? So that's, uh. What? I know it's somewhere between $6 and $12. I don't know where it is in that spectrum. Either way, that is a really good hit. Okay. We got Wrinkle, Master Prinkle, Zadid, 
Zahid. Campfire. Campfire, yeah, it's it's not great, it's just a, it's a pet card of mine. Okay, so Sean, two packs left. You should have one more mythic to go. Let's see if we can get another rare, a big rare hit too. Portal Mage. Personal tutor. Good hit. Sakiko. Sabira. Bastion of Remembrance. All right, last pack, Sean. This is definitely a pretty good box. Pretty, pretty good. Only one land, though. That's that's again. I, I did state that it's a big set, which is why I can't really make a singular land column because uh, you know set this big that that can happen. So, are we gonna get shafted a mythic here? Eh, I shouldn't even call that. I shouldn't even say that. That's what it would be. But. Are we going to be below the average? Let's see. Boom, pile, and foil. <laughs> well, <clears throat> if we are, then at least you're leaving this with four of the five medallions in one box. And it's a fairy. Yep. Okay. So then we get to fairy, Trimocrasis. Path Razor, Thrawn Dynamo in the awesome treatment. I like borderless treatments myself. I am a fan. Specifically also the non-foil ones. Okay, so to kind of kind of go back, right? So Jeweled Lotus. Savala and Mikhail, uh, Mikhail are solid. Yeah, Razcast a little lower. Royal Retainer is a little lower, but they're not they're not bulk mythics. So the mythics, because Jeweled Lotus did alright. Then this column here. That's 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 a big column. For one of these boxes that's huge when you hit on the rares in this product like this this can be a little bit of a mythic heavy set it's also a really big set but you, you killed it in the rares here just absolutely phenomenal phenomenal assortment of cards so i'm gonna go ahead and end the video sean thank you very much for allowing me to open this for you all the cards will be packed up and shipped out um, i hope you got some things inside this box uh, that you will put to good use let me know what those are too, um, you know, because everybody's got different play styles or different ways, they, different colors or different preferences to their builds, right? So what is one really good card to one person is not a really good card to another person just based off the, the, tend, the way they, they, they tend to do things. Um, so I'm always intrigued by that, right? Because there's cards that I personally would never touch. I know they're good. But I would never touch those cards. And there's other cards that I like want to almost put in every deck. But then some other person doesn't want anything to do with that card. That's kind of the fun of what this game's become. It's kind of the fun of Commander, frankly. You know, building building it based off the things that you like to do and making it work. That's, this is the fun part of MTG, people. It's the fun part. Thanks for watching.